a letter to Ethics Committee Chairman Julian Dixon calling for an investigation of Speaker Wright. It is signed by 71 members of the House of Representatives. Based on the public printed record, there are four areas which clearly merit further inquiry. They are, one, 1979 reports of Speaker Wright intervening with President Anwar Sadat on behalf of a businessman who had only weeks earlier allowed Wright to invest in one of his proven oil wells. Two, 1980 reports that the Speaker wrote a letter to the Department of the Interior in an attempt to influence its decision to award gas leases to a company from which he had purchased more than $15,000 worth of stock. Three, 1988 reports of the Speaker receiving an unusually high 55% royalty from his book, Reflections of a Public Man. And four, reports of a possible conversion of campaign funds from the sale of his book for personal gain. Questions about the Speaker's finances have arisen in the past, but he has maintained that he has done no wrong, especially when it comes to his book royalties. I don't know what's improper about it. If, uh, uh, if people are willing to pay uh, six dollars for the book, and uh, if my publisher is willing to give me three and a quarter, uh, as a matter of fact, it never occurred to me that there was anything wrong with that. It still doesn't. Uh, I have written another book uh, for which uh, Karen McCann and others, I think I got about 40 percent. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can think of other people. Made a whole lot more money on books. There's a lady who wrote a book called Mayflower Madam, and I'm told that she got a half million dollars. It is this concern over royalties, however, coupled with questions surrounding the Speaker's financial dealings in his Texas district, that has made for an unusual Washington alliance. Just last week, Fred Wertheimer, president of the liberal lobbying group Common Cause, joined the conservative chorus calling for an ethics probe of the speaker. Speaker Wright said in a television interview last night he would be cooperative. As a matter of fact, it would just suit me fine. I, uh, I have nothing to hide. I have violated no rule. I violated no ethical standard. It's all right with me. I, have, uh, I haven't done anything that violates the law or the rule or anything uh, unethical. They can look all they want to. Joining us now is the man who filed those formal complaints today, Republican Congressman Gingrich of Georgia, and a member of the Democratic House leadership, Congressman Burl Anthony of Arkansas, chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Congressman Gingrich, let's go through these things. First, on the, on the book, what's wrong if the, if the speaker did get 55% of a royalty on his book? Well, I think there are a number of things wrong with this particular case. Uh, he suggests people are buying the book. The fact is this book has never been listed in books in print. We've only been able to find two bookstores. Books in there. print is a books big book that lists all the books that are in any, print. Any right? commercial bookstore in America that wants to order a book, books in books in print. It's the automatic base of, of commercial books in America. Uh, people like the Teamsters were buying a thousand copies at a time. Fifty-five percent is an extraordinary level of royalties. Uh, the norm is somewhere between eight and a maximum of twenty. People, very successful authors usually get fifteen percent. But it's also the fact that here you have as his personal printer, a man to whom he has paid $650,000 over the recent years, uh, a man who has never published a book before. man in Fort Worth. The man in, in Fort Worth, Carlos Moore, who is mm -hmm. a convicted felon who served uh, time in prison for having laundered money for the Teamsters, $90,000 to politicians who he refused to name. Uh, this, is, this is the Speaker's printer. This is the man who, having received $650,000 from the Speaker's campaign, is now privately printing a book which doesn't show up anywhere except that other important groups such as the Teamsters happen to be buying it. Well, how much money has the speaker gotten out of this About $55,000 so far. 